Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. It's me. <laughs> Hello, my dear class. Good evening. Welcome to another great day of learning. It is a pleasure to have you all here. Tell me, how was your day? What did you do? ¿Qué hicieron ahora? How was your day, my dear class? Uh -huh. Cuéntenme, ¿qué hicieron este día? Give me verbs or actions that you did today. Trabajar, teacher. Ah, you work. What else? Shopping. Oh, you shop. Uh huh. Um, laundry. Oh, you did laundry, right? What else did you do today? ¿Qué más hicieron? Okay, you work. You didn't eat. Trabajar en drive. Oh, drive. you drive, aha. Uh -huh. You eat. What else? What other things did you do? Did you take a shower, people? No. Yes. Nadie se bañó ahora. <laughs> did you cook? Ah, uh, did. What else? ¿Qué más hicieron ahora? Um, ¿Cómo se lavar car? Ah. Wash okay. car. You wash the car. What else? Piensen en todas las acciones que hicieron en el día. What else did you do? Uh, clean the house. Okay, you walk. I, I am sure that you walk, right? You clean the house. What else? I'm going to supermarket. Okay. Uh, you okay? You go to the supermarket. Okay. What else? I need two more actions that you did. Did you watch TV today? Did you watch the game? ¿Quién vio el partido? Nadie. Uh, listen to music. You watch TV and you listen to music, right? And you listen to music. Okay. Oh, you listen to music. Okay. As you can see, my dear students, we do many things every single day right? We do many things every day and all these things are related to different actions. All the actions that I have here today are actions in simple present, right? All these actions are in simple present. Todas estas acciones que tenemos aquí are simple forms of verbs, right? If I show you some different pictures, what will be the simple form of the verb for each of them? ¿Qué verbo le pondrían a esta? What will be the verb for this one? Play. Play. Play, Play. right? Play. What about this one? Okay. Paint. Paint, right? What about this one? Yes. Play. Play. play what? Things. Play, play. 
play the guitar, right? Play the guitar. What about this one? Play. Play, the piano. play the piano. Play the piano, right? What about, let me see. What about this one? Dance. 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 What about this one? Cook. 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 Clean. Clean. Wash. Wash. Wash the clothes or do laundry, right? Wash the clothes or do laundry. Swim. No, the normal verb? Swim. Swim. Shopping. Shop. 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 Right? Shop. Shop. Ride a bike. Think. 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 Right? Think. Think. So these are normal actions in normal verbs. Today, we are going to start working with a very, very famous friend. The past. In many of the verbs that we use, we have different forms of the verbs in past tense. Do you know the form of the verb in past tense for work? Work. Okay. Aha. Work. Work. Okay. Dejémoslo ahí. Ya lo vamos a trabajar. Work. What about this one? Shop. Shop. Shop with double Shop. P, right? Shop. Do laundry? laundry? What is the past tense of do? Laundry. No, what is the past tense of do? Deal. 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 Okay, deal. and that is the past tense, right? Deal. You deal? I laundry. 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 What about the past tense of drive? Drive. Drive. This is an irregular deal. form, right? Drop. What about eat? Is it regular as well? Eight. Eight, right? Eight. Take a shower. What is the past tense of take? Took. Took, took. right? I took a shower. What is the past tense of cook? Cook. Cook. With ed, right? Cooked. This is regular. What is the past tense of wash? Wash. 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 Wash the car. Wash. Wash the car. What is the past tense of walk? Walk. Walk. Walked, right? This is a very Christmas class. What about the past tense of clean? Clean. Cleaned with ed. What is the past tense of go, people? When. When, when. right? When to the supermarket i went to the supermarket and what is the past tense of watch 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 tv and what is the past tense of listen listen, listen to music oh my god listen to music that is the past tense of this one so this is a little introduction just for me to see if you know the verbs or not right today we are going to work a little bit on the past tense but i really wanted to introduce this because all these activities that you have here are activities that you did Todo eso es lo que hicieron en el día. but as they are over como ya pasó hace un minuto past tense. So those are activities that are in the past. Okay. One minute ago, past tense. The, the things that are happening right now are the present, right? Present. The things that are just in this little second are the present. One minute ago is the past and one minute later is the future. So we are going to focus today in the past. Activities that happened in the past. Some of the issues with this happened only in the affirmative forms, okay? 
El pasado da un poco de trabajo en las formas afirmativas, pero en las negativas y las preguntas, gracias al uso del auxiliary did, es bastante sencillo. So don't worry about that. You are going to see that it's not that complicated. Here we have una pregunta. Yes, Ruth. Eh, ¿Me podría ayudar en la pronunciación cuando el verbo se cambia a pasado? La terminación es de. Yeah, we're going to do that. Don't worry. Todo está incluido en la clase. Don't worry. Yo ya les cubrí todos esos Gracias. Parts. You will see. <laughs> Here we have an introduction for this one. How do we explain situations that happened in the past? And here we have the beginning. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Tuviste un buen fin de semana. You are going to talk about the past. And it says, well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. So sorry for you, but you didn't study for the exam. So in this case, we have situations in the past. Can you identify sentences in past tense? ¿Me podrían mostrar alguna oración que esté en pasado? Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? It is the first one. It is a question, so, right? So what did you do on Sunday? Okay, what did you do on Sunday? This is another question. A sentence in past tense. I had, I had a busy weekend, right? Another one? I studied the test all day. Okay, I studied for the test all day. I visited my, my parents. I visited my parents, right? I clean, then my roommate. Okay, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned. Did laundry. Did laundry and, and, shop. and shopped, right? Yes, I heard a teacher, teacher, teacher. Oh, y por ahí alguien que me dijo, teacher, teacher, teacher. No. Little tired teacher. Ah, okay. Very yes, good. One. I wanted I wanted to I wanted you to tell me this one. When you say I feel a little tired today. In este caso, tired is an adjective. This is not a verb. Okay, tired in this case is an adjective. Me siento un poco cansado, right? So in this case, tired is not a past tense, but it's a normal verb, a normal adjective, sorry. Because it is describing the day. In este caso, tired es solo el adjetivo. I feel tired today. Me siento cansado. I just oh. watch it. Exactly. Just I watch, just watch. Watch television. Television all weekend. Um, Another one. I didn't study. This is a negative. I didn't study. I just watch television all weekend. So... This is a good introduction. Here you have questions, affirmative sentences, and we also have negative sentences yeah. in the past. Right? We have all the forms. Later, we are going to come back for pronunciation when we started the forms. Okay? So we are going to study a little bit of the regular forms when you add ED and the irregular forms that have their own form. The irregular verbs have their own thing, okay? Esos tienen sus propias cosas. Here I have some examples. For the verbs, and this is something important. El cambio se realiza a los verbos, okay? A los verbos, no al nombre, no al sujeto, no, al verbo. And most of them, you add 
ed forms, right? To the regular verbs. Okay, how do you identify? Through study, right? Some of them that finishing e, you add d. Some of them you change the y, and some others you change the consonants. You have to double them. Examples that you can have here. No se ve la pantalla, dice Alejandro. ¿No pueden ver la pantalla? Sure. Yes. Ok, se lo voy a volver a compartir. Hello. There you go. Se lo vuelvo a compartir, por si acaso. Alejandro, can you confirm if you can watch, if you can see my screen? Alejandrito, se me perdió Alejandro. Qué lindo. <risa> y yo, Alejandro no mira la pantalla porque no está conectado. That's why. <risa> I lost Alejandro. Hey, here it is again. Okay, good. Some of the first examples. Eli, can you help me with the first forms that we have here? These ones. Try to pronounce them. Wash, wash, wash it. Um, exercise, exercise must um, exercise. Is study, study. Um, esta uh -huh. es, esta Go ahead. And shop, shop, shop. Okay, here you have watch, watch, watch. One. Say watch, watch. Exercise, exercised with D, right? Study, studied, right? Studied. This is the past tense with the D form. Ya le voy, ya le voy a mostrar la diferencia. Stay, stayed, shop, shopped with T. You have three different sounds. You have the sound, the D sound, and the ID sound, right? So you say studied, stayed with D, shopped, shopped with T. And here you have the different forms. You have walked, played, liked, moved, carried, studied, planned, and stopped. Stop. Stopped. And how do you differentiate? And you might say, teacher, but how do I make a difference between the three of them? Something easy, right? Let me just show them to you. In many of the cases, let's work first on the spelling, right? Nos vamos a trabajar primero el spelling. The majority of regular verbs in the past only add ed. The ones that are with e at the end, you put the d. The ones that finish in Y, you put I, E, D. And the ones that finish in consonant, vowel consonant, you double the consonant and add E, D. So to all these ones, people, to all these ones here, who are going to add E, D, right? Mm -hmm. To all these ones that finish in E, si ya terminen E, no es decir like it, leave it. Shared. No, right? You only add the D. Mm -hmm. If you have these ones that finish in Y with a consonant before, tiene una consonante antes y la Y, you add I, E, D. Cried. Okay, and if you have consonant, vowel consonant, you have double P, skipped, stopped with double P, pinned, clapped, hope and sipped, right? Double the last consonant, ponemos doble consonante and add ed, right? Those are the forms for the regulars. The irregular verbs have their own style, okay? En el caso de los irregulares, tienen su forma única. But I wanted to show you these ones in different categories. For example, the irregulars, you can work on them into a specific categories. For example, all these ones that are here, 
never change. Okay. Este grupo de verbos que les presento al principio, they have their specific form and they don't change. So you say bed, 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 burst, 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 cost, 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 cut, cut, cut. They don't change because these ones are irregulars in the special form. They don't change. The other ones, you have another category of irregulars that are with NT at the end or with T at the end, okay? This picture, I sent it to you like a week ago. Hace como una semana más o menos se las envié al grupo, right? Mm -hmm. And you, maybe you started before, right? You have burned, dealt, dreamed, felt, kept, learned, left, all these finish in T, right? We have other categories of irregulars that finish with ang, ang, right? Began, drank, ran, rang, sang, sang, swam, sprang, right? And you have the categories of the EW. Blue, blue, grew, new, through. We have the category of the GHT, brought, bought, caught, fought, thought, thought, thought. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo me aprendo los irregulares? En categorías. It's easy like this, right? You recognize them. Here you have the ones that finish in EN, right? In this case, you have bitten. In the past participle form, beat, broke, shows, drove, ate, felt, forbade, forgave, froze, gave, hid, and wrote. Here you have rose, saw, shocked, spoke, stole, took, walked, and wrote. So in the last category that we have are the ones that they have their specific forms. Okay? Estos cambian en todas las formas. Come, came, come, do, did, done. Draw, drew, drawn, go, went, gone, green, ground, ground, hang, hung, hung. The verb to be is that changes to was and were and been in the past participle. Make, made, made, right? And here you have all the rest. Ones. These ones have their specific forms. And these are the two different worlds, the ED forms and the irregular forms. How do you know? Try to work and memorize the irregulars. So any other verb that is not irregular, it is. Okay? Cualquier otro verbo que usted no lo reconozca como un irregular, ed. Past tense. Just like that. So, but how do you how do you make a difference between them? And this is what Ruth was asking for. In which cases do I know how to pronounce id? T or D. All the verbs, si en su forma normal termina en T o en D, vamos a agregar una sílaba extra. So you say, wanted, needed, right? Wanted, needed. The ones that help that finished in P, in K, in SH, CH, GH, PH, double S, C, or X that are voiceless, you say, Help, helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. This is the T sound at the end. Can you practice with me, people? So you say helped. 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 In this case, you don't say helped. Porque los únicos que se les agrega una sílaba extra son los que terminan en T o en D. These ones, for example, say helped. Help. Looked. Look. Washed. Look. Washed. Watch. Watch. Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. Kissed. Danced. Danced. Fixed. Fixed. Okay, you don't say I helped my mother, right? I helped my mother, right? I helped my mother. 
Oh, and host. all the other ones, right? L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, and Z. So it's a cold. Cold. Oh. With the D sound at the end. Cold. Cold. Okay. Hagámoslo más fácil. Imagínense que aquí no tiene esta E aquí. So you say cold. Cold. Cleaned. 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 Offered. 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 Damaged. Damage. Loved. Loved. Used. Used. Followed. Followed. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Amazed. 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 Okay. So in this case, you have the three different categories. Id, T, and D. Right? Most of the strong sounds are with the T sound. And these ones are with the D sound. Say cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, and amazed. I have here a short practice on each of them, right? Here we have the three different categories with examples. And we are going to work on each of them. Here. I have here three different categories, right? Y creo que igual en el en WhatsApp les envié uno donde van todos los verbos de cada categoría. All the ones with ill, all the ones with the, and all the ones with t. But these ones, for example, how would you read them? You say suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included. Landed and needed. I need you to read them with me. Okay. Leamos la primera categoría. Let's go with the first ones. People. So you have here. Suggested. 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 Okay. Wait, wait. I had a question in the chat. Pregunta por qué en el verbo no cambia si es pasado. Did you go anywhere last summer? Ah, yeah, auxiliaries, auxiliaries. Sorry, tenía una pregunta en el chat. Si usan el auxiliary did en negativos y preguntas, el verbo vuelve a su forma natural. It's okay. So you say suggested. The next one. Voted. Voted. The next one. Waited. 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 Wanted. Wanted. Shouted. Shouted. Hunted. Hunted. Adopted. 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 Accepted. 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 Painted. 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 Contacted. 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 Hated. 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 Included. 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 Landed. 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 Needed. Okay, all the ones that sound D. So you say lived, lived, climbed, climbed, phoned, phoned, waved, arrived, arrived, cleared, cleared, studied. Started. Started. Listened. 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 Toured. Considered. Considered. Stayed. Stayed. Rescued. Rescued. Happened. 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 And the last category. The last category, you have the T sound. Teacher. Yes? Teacher, ese traveler, ese me faltó, o no lo oí. Ah, traveled. Travel. Traveled. 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 Okay. The next ones. In the next category, you have the T sound. So you say announced. 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 Cooked. 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 Talked. Okay, talked. No, los únicos que agregamos una sílaba extra 
It's D A T and D. Okay, the next one. Finished. 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 Light. 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 Brush. 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 So you say laugh. Laugh. Brush. Brush. Practice the three attack. categories, ¿ok? Practice the three categories. Pueden apagar el micrófono si quieren y repetirla <coughs> tantas veces les sirva. And then I am going to take three volunteers from the class to read one of the categories, ¿ok? Practice right now. If you have questions, teachers, how do you pronounce this one? Teacher, what is the pronunciation of this one? Ask, ¿ok? So right now I need you to turn off all the cell phones, all the, the, cell phone, the microphones <laughs> and practice. Turn off the microphones and practice. And we are going to, I am going to call one volunteer for each category. Después puedes coger a un voluntario para cada categoría. It can be you, it can be your friend, it can be your sister, any volunteer. Practice right now. Practice, practice, Teacher. practice. Yes. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la primera? Es la primera. Suggested. Suggested. Suggest is a normal verb. Suggested. 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 Ok, gracias. Ok. Teacher, teacher no me di cuenta. Eh, una pregunta. Ya. Yeah. No, no me di cuenta eh, cómo diferenciamos para agregar eh, la pronunciación del final. Okay. Eh, con el ID, eh, con el D y con el D. This one. Here you have it. All the ones that finish in T and D, one T. Si el verbo termina, termina en T o en D en su forma normal, ok. Por ejemplo, want. Want termina en T. Entonces, todos los que terminan en T o en D, one T. One T. Todos los de sonido eh, fuerte, como P, T, eh, K, S, H, C, H, T, H, double S. So you say helped, right? Help, helped. Look, looked. Wash, washed. Watch, watch. Laugh, laugh. Breathe, breathe. Kiss, kissed, right? All these ones finish. In all these letters, todos los que terminan en P, en K, en SH, que son los sonidos más fuertes, van con T. Y todos los sonidos un poco más suaves. You say L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, and Z. You go with Z. Cold, ¿ok? Si termina en L, cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, follow, enjoyed, amazed. Right, these are the three categories. If I am not mistaken, let me just find it on your group. En el grupo, les compartí una foto donde están todas las tres categorías con todos los verbos que incluyen. Let me just resend it to you. Ooh, I think it was like a week ago. Let Thank me you. find it. Here it is. Aquí. Let me see. It's here for you. Se la voy a reenviar al mismo grupo. There you have on the chat the, all the categories for T, for D, and for ID. So on the chat, you have all, well, most of the most common verbs for T, for D, and for ID. And now you can practice all of them, right? So you say agreed, allowed, answered, appeared, right? And there you have the three forms. Did you check it? ¿Ya lo revisaron en el chat? Ahí están todos los más comunes para cada categoría. Now you know how to pronounce it, right? Now you have the ones with T, the ones with D, and the ones with it. Okay? And the same day that I sent you this one, I sent you a, another form of verbs, let me see, it was here. I am looking for my categories. 
I send you this one as well. That are the categories of the irregulars. Okay. Ahí están ambos. You have the pronunciation of the regular forms and also the categories of irregular verbs. Okay. So right now we are going to practice these three categories here. Okay. Ya los ubicaron en su WhatsApp, chicos? Yes. Ahí están. So you have, yes, you have the most common groups for each of the sounds. Now that you know how to make the sound, it's easier, right? So practice these ones. Right now we're going to work on the pronunciation of these ones. Practice like two or three times or with your microphones off. And then I am going to say, for example, Claudia, ED, Raul, the D, and Carlos, the T. And you are going to tell me all the category. Okay? Practiquemoslo. Practiquemos la pronunciación. And I am going to give you some minutes to practice. And then I am going to ask three people in the group to read the verbs. Después voy a poner a tres de ustedes a que lean una categoría. So please practice right now. Practice, practice, practice. I will silent your microphone so you can practice. Go ahead. Suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. With the D, lived, climbed, phoned, waved, arrived, cleared, started, listened, toured, considered, traveled, stayed, rescued, happened. With the T, announced, cooked, walked, talked, finished, typed, laughed, brushed, crashed, worked, liked, attacked. Practice, practice, practice. No. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Maso, uh, maso. Ma so, so, you say in English. So, so. So, so, so. So, so, teacher. Okay. Dennis is one of the first volunteers. <laughs> Arabella, <laughs> another volunteer. And let me see. Janet. Janet has experience on this. Another volunteer. Arabella, give me the ones with Eve. Dennis, the ones with D, and Janet, the ones with T. So, this is the first one, Il. The second one is D, and the last one is T. Arabella, go ahead. The first category. Arabella inicia con la primera categoría. Vamos. Ok. okay. Um, I accepted the, the, the gift. I accepted the gifts. Good. <laughs> you did a good job because you created a sentence. But I need you to practice the pronunciation of all the verbs. Go ahead. Um, okay. Suggested. Suggested. Uh, bot. Bot. Ah, 
practice. Uh, voted. 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 Wait. Wait. Waiter. 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 Sure. Wanted. I wanted. Ok, para verla, continue practicing, continue practicing, síganlo sí. practicando. Claudia, help me with the first category. This one. Um, eh, Go ahead. Este, something. Suggested. Just, ah, Justin, Justin, Justin. Eh, ay, no, no. Go ahead. Suggested. Suggested. Voted. Voted. Waited. Waited. Wanted. Wanting. Wanted. Waiting. No, want. 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 And a verb, right? Wanted. Waiting. Shouted. Shouted, 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 uh -huh. <laughs> hunted, hunting, adopted, adopting, accepted, accepting, painted, painting, contacted, contacting, hated, hated, included, including, included, including, landed. Landing. Landed. Landing. Needed. Dining. Needed. Needed. Ok. <risa> Para hacerlo más fácil, vamos a practicar la forma normal del verbo. Creo que a uh -huh. todos nos cuesta un montón todavía. Sí. Open your microphone and repeat with me. Todos, abran sus micrófonos. Practice the normal form of the verb. Suggest. 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 Shout. 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 Hunt. Shout. Hunt. 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 Adopt. 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 Accept. 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 Paint. 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 Contact. 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 Hate. Include. Land. 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 Need. 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 Now let's practice if. Now let's practice if. Now practice it. 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 One 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 Adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Okay, now can you make a difference? ¿Quién quisiera ser voluntario para repetirlo? Only one. Alejandro, go ahead. 
Vaya, pero espérenme, que voy a agarrar aire. <risa> Go ahead, you can do it. Go ahead. Just, suggested. Voted. Voted. Waited. Voting. Waited. Wanted. Shouted. Shouted. Haunted. Shouted. Haunted. Adopted. Accepted. Accept. Accepted. Accepted. Painted. Contacted. Hated. Included. Included. Landed. Included. Landed. Needed. Very good job, people. A clap for Mr. Alejandro. Un aplauso y una reacción para su amigo. Very good. Good job. You did it. Now, I know all of you can do it. All of you can do it. This one is the easiest one because you have to imagine that you erase the E. Imagínense que le borran la E a la palabra y leanla justo como les queda. So you say lived, lived. climbed, owned, waved, waved, arrived, arrived, cleared, cleared. studied, studied. 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 listened, listened. toured, toured. Considered. Traveled. considered, traveled, stayed. Rescue. Rescue. Happened. 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 Who wants to help me with this category? ¿Quién me ayuda con esta categoría? Yo, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Ruth. Uh, lift, climb, phoned, waved, arrived, cleared, stalled, listened, listened, toured, considered, Traveled, stayed, rescued, happened. Rescued. Rescued. And happened. Very good job. Very happened. good job. Okay. Claps for your friend. You did a very good job. Yes. Very good. Reactions for your friend as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. And the last one. The last one has to be a little bit more exaggerated. So you say announced. Cooked, walked, talked, finished, typed, laughed, brushed, crashed, worked, liked, attacked. The t -t -t -t. Okay, si usted tiene experiencia ahí de coqueteo, le va a salir. The t -t 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 -t. Teacher, una consulta. Yep. Uh... ¿Por qué eh, la pronunciación o cuando vamos a la siguiente parte dice the next one o the last one? Why? O sea que the, the next, dice the next, uh -huh. es eh, la siguiente. Uh -huh. Ok, pero le agrega siempre the next one. Eh, ok, it is, it is just... the last, O the last, el último, uh -huh. el... The last one. Pero siempre, ajá. Ya, yeah, it o sea, is just... Parte, después, It is just a matter of, of adding. So you say like, let's practice the next, the next category or the next one. Si yo no le uso la palabra category or the next line, the next list, the next person, podemos decir one para reemplazar la palabra. Okay, you say the next one. O puedo decir the next category. Si yo no ocupo un una cosa específica para hablar de qué es lo siguiente, puedes decir en general, the next one. Ok. Ok, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, imagínense tenemos tres listas. Si yo le digo, let's read the next list. Está bien. Pero si mm -hmm. no les quiero decir list, read the next one. The next Lea one. la siguiente. So that's the difference between the next one, the last one, the following okay. one. So, good question. Very good question. Okay, Carlos Alberto, aprovechando que nos hizo la pregunta, read the last one. <laughs> no le vuelvo a preguntar. 
Es no, le, no le vuelvo a preguntar, ¿no? Bueno, vamos a tratar de <risa> No, 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 go ahead, you can do it, you can do it. Eh, échenle porras a Carlos. Go, Carlos, you can do it. Carlos, Carlos, uh, Carlos. Go, okay. go, go. <risa> go, Carlos, you can do it. Announce. Ya está seguro. Go ahead. Eh, eh, announce, eh, cook, eh, walk, eh, talk, eh, finish, eh, type, eh, launch. Browse, crash, uh, work, light, uh, attack. Good, you did a good job. A little bit more exaggerate, but it can be better. Great job. You see, Carlos, don't tell me that you cannot do it. I will try. Okay, aquí no cabe el no puedo. Lo voy a intentar. So, si me sale bien mal, más o menos, it's okay. So, you say, announced. Practice with me, even with your microphone off. Say announced. 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 Cooked. 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 Walked. Walked. Talked. Walked. Talked. 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 Finished. Finished. Typed. 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 Laughed. 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 Brushed. Crashed. Crashed. Worked. 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 Like. Like, 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 like. Attack. 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 Very good job. You see, class, you did it. Nice job. A little bit of more practice. Practice is going to bring perfection, okay? The only thing that is going to bring perfection is practice. So, on the WhatsApp group, you have the three categories. If, D, and T. Practice, 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 okay? You have to practice the pronunciation of all of them, right? And here you have, for example, this ones. This is the question that someone was asking on the chat. Why don't you change it? Why do you change it, right? In this case, I have the question here and the answer. For the verb to be, right? For the verb to be, you use was and were in the past. Right? So imagine that you have a sentence that says, I am happy. And in the past tense, you say, I was happy. Right? I was not happy. Were you happy? And here you have affirmative, negative, and question. And for the normal verbs, on sentences, you say, she worked yesterday. She didn't work yesterday. Did she work yesterday? Si se fijan, el cambio se da nada más en las oraciones afirmativas en pasado. For the negatives, you use didn't. And for the questions, you use did. And the verbs are normal again. Okay? So you cannot say she didn't work yesterday. She didn't accept it. No, she didn't accept. And you don't change. Right? Si tiene el auxiliar, ya el verbo no cambia. Did she work yesterday? And if you have the auxiliary did, the word, the verb is going to be normal. In this case, the verb that changes is the verb to be. Okay? Si estamos usando oraciones con was and were, that is the verb. Ese es el verbo. Okay? Que vamos a hacer oraciones que en su forma normal eran con is or are. They change to was or were. But the practice on the sentences is going to be tomorrow, okay? I wanted to focus a lot on pronunciation, right? I wanted to focus a lot on pronunciation for you to know the differences of the different verbs and the way you pronounce them, okay? So here I have, what is the past tense of these ones, people? Now that we have studied a couple of them. What is the past tense of break? Broke. Broke. What is the past Broke. tense of do? Deal. When? Deal. Deal. What is the past no. tense of feel? Deal. Felt. Felt. What is the past tense Felt. of have? Have. 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 What have. is the past tense of see? So. 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 What is the past have. tense of bring? Broke. 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 What is the past tense of drink? Drunk. 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 What is the past tense of get? Got. Got. 
got. What is the past tense of got. no? New. 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 What is the past tense of sit? New. Sit. Sit. Sat. Sit. Sat. 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 What is the past Sat. tense of buy? Boy. Boat. 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 I bought a Boat. house. I bought tomatoes. I bought onions. What is the past tense of eat? Eight. 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 What is the past tense of give? Gave. Gave. What is the past tense of make? Made. Made. Take. Made. Took. Took. Cut. 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 It's the same, right? It doesn't change. What is the past tense of fall? Fill. 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 Go. Was went. Went. Oh, went. 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 What is the past tense of read? Read. Read. Se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia distinto. Read. What is the past tense of think? Thought. 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 Okay, the past tense of thing is thought. So, based on this one, people, right? We have all these different forms. What do we need to do right now? A lot of pronunciation practice because tomorrow we are going to work on sentences. Mañana vamos a enfocarnos en gramática y escritura de oraciones. But today I need you to practice pronunciation. You have the categories on the chat. You have the categories of the verbs. Try to practice. Try to mention all of them. Yes. And if we have any question about pronunciation, we can uh, we can ask on the chat or we can Google. In Google, you have the, the pronunciation uh, form. I don't really know if you have used it, right? In Google, si usted le pone pronunciación de tal palabra, le pone hasta la boca como se pone. So I will send you also the link. Here we have some other verbs that we're going to be practicing. Most of them are regulars. So in this case, you have agreed, answered, arrived, asked, believed, called, carried, clean, climbed, completed, right? And you can practice the different pronunciation of these ones as well. But I would prefer you to use the list, okay? Para la práctica, quizás mejor ocupemos el listado que tienen porque están las tres categorías separadas. Before we go, I am going to call the attendance. Le voy a pasar lista antes de que nos vayamos. So, eh, before I forget, okay? Si no, me voy y se me olvida. Y después, teacher, ¿por qué pasó? No. I know, I know how important this is. Let me just do it. Don't, don't be afraid of the verbs in past, okay? No les tengan miedo al pasado. No, de Hay muchos que dicen, ay no, que es el, el, el tema más difícil, que no sé qué. No, don't be afraid of that. Just practice. Alejandro Jovel. Present teacher. Ana Elizabeth. Arabella. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present. Carmen Vanessa. Claudia Iris. Present. Thank you. Denis Eliseo. Present teacher. Eli. Present. Eneida. Present. Janet. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Alexandra. Joanna Damaris. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Liana. Present teacher. Thank you. Lorena. Lorena Saraya. Thank you. Marvin. Present teacher. Odilia. Present teacher. Raul Antonio. Present teacher. Ruth Marielos. Here teacher. Sandra Georgina. Silvia Lisette. Present. Thank you very, very, very much. Okay. So my dear students, what are we going to do for tomorrow? Practice the pronunciation of the verbs. 
We are going to work a little bit on grammar tomorrow, but what I need you to do today is to practice the pronunciation of them. You can choose at least 10 different verbs from each category, okay? Váyanse y de los listados para el día de mañana, de los listados escojan 10 de los verbos. 10 con id, 10 con t, 10 con d. And that is going to be your audio for tomorrow. Okay? Tu audio va a ser 10 ya sea de id, 10 de t, or 10 de d. Or si quieren hacer los 30 in the audio, that's perfect. Okay? But choose 10 verbs from each category and record yourself pronouncing the verbs. Okay? So you are going to send me an audio and you are going to say, Okay, teacher, this is my audio. And you are going to go and you're going to say accepted, suggest, voted, right? And you are going to tell me 10 verbs, 10 on the audio, okay? ¿Quieren más? With the pronunciation, con su pronunciación ya sea id, t, or d, okay? Díganme de qué categoría los escogieron y me dicen, por ejemplo, teacher, I chose t. Teacher, I chose D. Teacher, I chose id. It. And you tell me okay. the 10 verbs. Pueden ser más de 10. Si los quieren leer todos, that's perfect. <laughs> but I only ask for 10. Okay? Yo solo les pido 10. Si quieren hacer más, it's up to you. Okay? Practice, my dear. Oh. Class. Okay? For tomorrow. Okay? Not tonight. Tomorrow during the day. But please send the audio, people. Send me the audio work, okay? So we can check and practice. Have a beautiful night, my dear class, and I'm going to see you tomorrow to continue working with the past tense, okay? Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, good night, good night class. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Good night, teacher.